Total score 14. Total score for the team 32. All right, the playing pegs have been marked. Thank you. I see our riders all ready. The white flags go up. The track's ready for you, Yemen. Total score 16. Total score for the team 28. For the spectators that have just joined us, we are busy with our second run of teams. After this, uh, we will have one more run on 40 millimeter pegs. And then we will determine who's the winner of the day. And we will then have a medal ceremony. So please, South Africa supporters, all of you, all our supporters over the world, come and uh, please support these teams. They've worked hard to get you. And the track's ready, white flags down. Norway, Norway is our next country to come. And here comes no way. Oh, 
Oh, unfortunately. Time, 7.29. In time. Unfortunately, in South Africa, we call that a Kalahari. Uh, yeah, for our friends at uh, South Africa, it's saying, unfortunately, uh, zero for that run. Yeah, and Kalahari means as dry as the desert. Three more teams to come for their second run. Next team will be the team from India. We've got it, Gerald. We've got it. And the track's ready for the team from India. Team India, they come in for their second run. And yeah, they come. Full last on the first run. And they do it again. First run, just half a point down. Time, 7.97. Time penalty, 0 0.5. Total score, 23.5. Another time penalty there, 0.5. Total, total score for team, 24.5. That won't Correct. bother India. Losing one point for time on two runs. That won't bother them. They've got eight pegs in the bag. We will calculate the scores before we go over to the 40 millimeters. Earlier on, uh, India was still in the sixth position, but I have a feeling they've moved up after this, these two runs that they've had. We will calculate the scores now for you after the last two teams have come, and we'll give you an update. Uh, 
you have a flag. The white flag is gone. Tracks ready for Egypt. They would like to do better than the first run. They only had 12 points. And they are. They will want to bet on that. They can. Top team in the world. And yeah, here yeah, the team from Egypt. Here yeah, they come. Oh, warm up. Thank you, uh, Norman. He's just picking up some rubbish on the track there for us. He's going to pass that time machine again there. So um, just be ready for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our last team, Pakistan, for their second run on the 60 millimeter pegs. And the white flags up, white flags all up. <laughs> And yeah, uh, they come, Pakistan. And that's why they're one of the top teams. Time. Time, 7.21. All right, I In think. Time, total score, 24. I think they're going to be some interesting changes on the scoreboard. We will uh, give you updates shortly. It's a long day, been a long week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for our last run on the 40 millimeter pegs. We 
will give you an update and a score shortly. But I have a feeling it's going to be close. It was very close before the second run. We always knew it was going to be tight. Top, top teams of the world competing in this World Cup. And I must tell our friends uh, from all over the world, normally we have absolute beautiful weather in George. Uh, you've just hit it a bit bad this year. Four seasons in 10 minutes, that's correct. <laughs> all right, all right, we've got updates. The scores, the scores. In the ninth position, Norway with 52 and a half points. Eighth position, Yemen, 77 and a half. In the seventh position, Jordan, they've moved up a bit. 78 and a half points. Sixth position, South Africa with 89. Fifth position, Egypt with 99. Fourth position, I think they've moved down a bit to one with 107. Third position, India with triple one. Second position, only three points below Pakistan, 117. And leaving, leading the pack, Pakistan with 120 points. Anything can still happen here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, from our first to our third position, we have got uh, nine points difference. One and a half pegs. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. And the track's ready. Team from Saudi. They'll be first up on the 40 millimeters. All right, here comes our team from Saudi. Saudi in the second position. And just look at that. Time, seven That's a good score. Seven. Time penalty, 0 0.5. Total score, 21.5. Twenty-one and a half points for Saudi. They were just three points uh, behind the leaders. They will be very happy with that. They will be very happy with that. Forty millimeter pegs, not easy. Tracks ready for Jordan. They are lying in seventh position at this stage. Unfortunately, they will not be on the podium in this event. Number 
All right, the next will be the team from South Africa. I'm sure they'll definitely want to improve on that second run of theirs. All right, white flags up. South Africa come for their last run of the day. for South Africa. Maybe not. 7.23. Two points, there are two points. So that big uh, at least got two points there. Legs all in, they're getting marked. Next team will be the team from Oman. They were in the fourth position. Yeah, 
Two bags up for man. Time, 7.25 in time. <laughs> Total score, 12 points. Yeah, I would like to use this opportunity also to thank the, the Georgia Agricultural Society. Uh, thanks for having us here. Thanks for helping us make this possible, this World Cup. Um, yeah, Kona and your team, thanks a lot. And uh, also one of our main sponsors, uh, the George Municipality. Thank you for you guys. You came on board and you supported us all this way. Uh, thank you. All the international guests, you'll see all our decor up in all our tents. Uh, have a look, it's all for sale. If you want to take something back to your country, um, yeah, just talk to the lady and gentleman there. Um, they can organize it for you, some beautiful uh, African artifacts. They would like to improve. They would like to move up for the day. Team Yemen. Two birds up. 6.94 time. In time. Total score 14. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, stay for our medal ceremony. We um, have got a couple of teams still to come through. Four more teams. All right, the white flag's up. Team Norway, next to come. They would also like to move up a bit. That was Team Norway. Hot lines in Norway. I think you and South Africa can have a drink together. 
Home, 7.88. We invite each other for a drink. Home uh, penalty, 0 0.5. And the ground jury confirmed uh, Kalahari. Right, gentlemen, this is the, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last run in the lead at the stage. We have, uh, not sorry, second last run, India. Egypt, third last run, India, Egypt, and uh, Pakistan. This is where the competition is heating up. Saudi sitting pretty with 138.5 points, and we are waiting uh, India. India are close in, uh, 111, actually uh, ahead of Egypt. Uh, so they're hoping to consolidate and try and get past 138.5 points. Please riders, don't tempo with our speakers down there. Just keep them up that everybody can hear what's going on. Thank you. And the white flag is gone for India. They still uh, ride up there. Anything can still happen. Have they moved up, Brendan? Brendan uh, just did some calculations here, and it looks like unofficially they moved up into the second position, India. Two more teams to come. Then we'll tally all the scores and we'll have a look if there are going to be any ride outs. And they might, they might be. And then we'll have our medal ceremony. And there's definitely been a drop in temperature. You will all have to dress nice and warmly for tomorrow. It's going to be cool. It's not going to be uh, George's normal, normal sunny, sunny day.
All right, just a technical glitch there. We just need to replace a battery on one of our time machines. Red flags in, sorry team. Just stand by for us Egypt. We just gotta replace a battery on one of our time machines. Uh, teaching up. It's teaching up. If Pakistan come down and they get 18 points, they'll take it for the day. Saudi's lying in the second position. India. Sorry. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, these are the scores as now. We realize there's still some teams to come. We have Egypt and Pakistan still to come. All right, Egypt. Two pegs up for Egypt. Time, 7.95. Time penalty, 0 0.5. Total score, 11.5. Yeah, Egypt at this point of time in fourth position. But our leaders for the day, Pakistan to come. Last run of the day. Unless we have some ride outs. Nineteen points is all that Pakistan need to take it for the day. And they come in.
More than three pegs I need. Yeah, they come, Pakistan. Oh, that made it interesting. Time, 7.05, in time. And you can hear there's some people celebrating. Total score, 12. Unofficially, unofficially it looks like Saudi might have taken it. And I think we're gonna keep it for the medal ceremony. We're gonna keep these final scores for our medal ceremony. Unless, yeah, I did say, we might still be a ride out. And there will be a ride out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're going to be having a ride out. We will uh, be giving through those names for you shortly. So riders, please stand by. Please stand by. We will be giving you the names now, shortly. All right, riders, just attention, please. Those uh, riders, I think they're three that have to have their practice run stall. Please, we'll give you the opportunity tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, before we start, you will have the opportunity to have your sixth and last uh, practice run. I think they're three riders, three or four. Uh, but you know uh, who you are. So please, tomorrow morning, before we start, you will have the opportunity to have those practice runs and, uh, on the gallows. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be having a ride out for all our guests. 
Now the thing goes sideways and goes down to 20 millimeters, two centimeters. That will be the size of the bag, two centimeters. And if you think it was hard, 2.5 centimeters. I apologize. 2.5. 25 millimeters. Once again, thank you to all our sponsors. See some of them around here today. Thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. And then, ladies and gentlemen, time. You've got to carry the pig, and the fastest run will take the gold, or the silver, or the bronze. I'd just like to ask all our uh, PROs when you've uh, seats. Send your teams all off. If you can maybe just help us to put down those gazebos, we will really appreciate it. Thank you. We're just adding up, uh, they're adding up the last scores, just verifying everything to make it quite sure that it's all correct. Yeah, Brendan's coming with. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a ride out for silver and bronze in the. So we're going to ask uh, number three, uh, Abdul Wahab from Saudi, Asiri from Saudi, and Wajahat Ula from Pakistan to ride out. Number three, four, and 43. Yeah, what to get up. Okay, I'm going 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 to get up. Okay, I'
Alright, just to explain, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening now is a ride out. These three riders have ended Thai for the day. Thai second, third and fourth. We need a bronze and a silver medal, which means that two of these riders will get a, one will get a silver, one will get a bronze and one will fall out. We already have a gold medal for individual, and that's Safwan from Oman. He's the individual best rider for day two. Uh, we're now looking for second and third. So gold, uh, silver and bronze for day two. Individual best rider. We have team results. Uh, we'll announce that in a few minutes. Let's get on. The ride out here. Ride out is on time, score and time. The rider must score to have his time count. Our next rider, number four, is Hassan Asiri from Saudi Arabia. Headlines there, headlines. 6.76 in time.
Saudi, if you could, uh, Saudi Arabia, could you bring up your flag there, please? We just need your flag. And we need uh, Oman's flag. Mansoor, we need your flag there for the medal ceremony.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We just uh, be even patient. We're just setting up the media wall, getting ready for the medal presentation. Before we continue, we just want to make sure uh, all the protocols are in place. Gerald. Johan Cronier, if you could come to the jury box, please, Mr. Johan Cronier. On the jury, would you come to the... Just uh, to all the media, just remember, please, not in front of this camera. There are some official appointed media people. Please don't walk in front of the camera. Gentlemen, we're getting ready for our prize medal ceremony. Please come closer. Please all come closer. For all the toeschouwers in the barn, I feel like I'm ready to begin to understand. We're going to ask the veterinary committee, Dr. Saad and your Yaku, uh, Dr. Saad and the veterinary team, they'd like you to sit in with the medal ceremony, please. Your honorable presence is needed with your veterinary team. No, please come. Committee is a committee. Gerald, are you ready? Everybody ready? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for the medal ceremony. We're going to ask, um, we're going to do the individuals first. Uh, we're going to ask. I 
We're going to ask Mr. Yab Lotte. He We're going to ask Mr. Yab Lotte to hand over the president of Saita to hand over the medals for the individuals. And we're going to call up in third place, uh, number 40, Wajahat Ula from Pakistan. Wajat is not a stranger to the podium. Uh, he was part of the Pakistani team that uh, that uh, uh, won the qualifier in Pakistan. So he's no stranger to the podium. Well done, Wajat. Then in second place with the silver medal, we have Hassan Asiri from Saudi. Then we have in first place in the gold medal for sword, day sword, day two, uh, number 41, Safwan from Oman. Well done. We're going to ask our medal party, which includes the uh, veterinary committee, the veterinary committee of the World Cup, uh, President Dr. Saad, our two doctors, and uh, Mr. Yaku Stradov, who's the veterinary commission chairman of SA10 Pegging. Roland, we're ready for you. Congratulations, Safwan from Oman, our gold medalist. Thank you for those who handed over the medals. We're now going to get ready. We're going to ask Mr. Jos Landman. He's from one of our chief sponsors. 
He's going to hand over the medals to the teams. We also welcome the President of Pakistan Equestrian Federation, Mr. Sultan Mohammed Ali, also part of our presentation party. Thank you, Team Oman. We're now going to move on to we're now going to move to the team uh, medal ceremony. And as I said, we're going to ask Mr. Jos Landfront, one of our chief sponsors, to hand over the medals for us. Third place, uh, day two, with a sword, India with 126 and a half. If you don't know already what a case tractor looks like, ladies and gentlemen, you can move to the top of the track there. You can see that's all the case equipment there. We say thank you. We move on to the silver medal with 132 points, Pakistan. Just a reminder, this is all being live streamed worldwide. Well done, Team Pakistan. Congratulations. We now move on to the gold medal with 138.5 points, Team Saudi Arabia.
Well done. We ask the presentation party to join them for a photo. And now for the national anthem of Saudi Arabia. Team Saudi, thank you to the presentation party. Well done. Day two winners, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. While we're there, we're going to announce some overall results so far. Uh, remember, we carry these points over into tomorrow. In the ninth place, we have Norway with 151.5. In eighth place, we have with 201.5, we have Yemen. In seventh place with 229, we have South Africa. In sixth place with 159 points, we have, sorry, 243 points, we have Jordan. In fifth place with 257 points, we have Oman. Currently in fourth, with 260.5, we have Egypt in third place. So far overall, with 272 points, Team India in second place with 276 points, we have Team Pakistan. And in the first place, with 292.5, Team Saudi Arabia. Uh, just uh, Team Yemen, Team Yemen and Team Jordan. Where your chef to keep here, please. Team Yemen, Team Jordan. Just here to me, please. Yemen and Jordan. Come here to me, please. And your maybe your PROs. Dalian, King Jordan. Not all Team 